Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites and another lesson from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast, written by Ayaz Abdullah Al-Qarni, which can be accessed at kalamullah.com. Let's read. Page 137. Lesson 29. Gifts to Those Who Fast. At this stage, I cannot find a better gift or greater masterpiece than to present to those who fast gifts from the Prophet of Guidance, peace be upon him. They are those practical hadiths that have been mentioned in connection with rewards and blessings. Behold, they are the hadiths that lead to the doors of happiness and the paths of goodness in this world and the hereafter. O you who fast, record these hadiths and implement them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever says at daybreak, there is no God save Allah alone. He has no partner. To him belongs the dominion and the praise and he has power over all things. Such a person will have the equivalent of a slave from the son of Ismail. Ten good deeds will be written for him. Ten misdeeds will be erased and he will be elevated ten levels. He will be protected from Satan until evening and if he says it in the evening, he would have the same rewards until morning. Ahmed Abu Dawood Ibn Majah Sahih. The Prophet peace be upon him also said, Whoever says in the morning or in the evening, O oh Allah, you are my Lord, there is no God besides you. You created me and I am your slave and I have taken a covenant to you and promised you what I am able to do. I seek refuge with you from the evil of what I have done. I acknowledge your favour upon me and I acknowledge my sin. Forgive me, because none forgives sins except you. If a servant die during the day or night after having said this prayer, he will enter paradise. Ahmad, Abu Dawood, Al-Nisai, Ibn Majah, Ibn Hibban, Al-Hakim, Sahih. Al-Bukhari transmit another version of this hadith. Again the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever says at morning or evening, Glory and praise be Allah the Great, one hundred times, no one will come forward on the day of judgment with better than he, except if someone said the same as him and added to it. Muslim Ahmad Abu Dawood al Dirmidi. Whoever said, Glory and praise be to Allah the Great, a date tree will be planted for him in the paradise. Al Dirmidi ibn Hibban al Hakim Sahih. Whoever says, Glory and praise be to Allah, 100 times in a single day, his sins would be erased even if they were like the waves of the sea. Bukhari and Muslim Whoever implements ten verses of the Qur'an will not be included among the negligent. Whoever implements one hundred verses will be considered among the obedient. And whoever implements one thousand verses will be among the extremely rich. Abu Dawood ibn Hibban Sahih Whoever says in the evening, in the name of Allah, with whose name there can be no harm in the earth or in the heavens, and he is the hearer, the knower, three times he will not be afflicted with a sudden calamity before morning. And whoever says it in the morning three times will not be afflicted with a sudden calamity before evening. Abu Dawood ibn Hibban al-Hakim Sahih Whoever says, I seek refuge with the perfect words of Allah, from the evil that he created, three times in the evening, will not be harmed by the bite of a serpent during the night. Al-Tirmidhi ibn Hibban al-Hakim, Sahih. Whoever says upon leaving his house, In the name of Allah, I trust in Allah, there is no movement and no power except with Allah. It would be said to him, You have been contented and you took precaution. Satan will turn away from him. Al-Tirmidhi Abu Dawood ibn Hibban Ibn al-Sunni, Sahih. Whoever says, when he hears the caller to prayer, and I bear witness, there is no God save Allah, he is alone and has no partner, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. I am pleased with Allah as Lord, Muhammad as prophet, and Islam as religion. All his sins will be forgiven. Muslim and the other five. Whoever recites Surah Al-Ikhlas ten times, Allah will build for him 
a house in paradise. Ahmad Sahi. Whoever recites the Surah Qaf on Friday, a light will be created for him until the next Friday. Al-Hakim and Al-Bahaqi say, Whoever recites the verse of the throne after every compulsory prayer will not be forbidden entrance to paradise. Ibn Hibban and Al-Nisai say, Whoever recites Surah Al-Ikhlas, it is as if he read one-third of the Qur'an. Ahmad, Al-Nisai, al tirmidhi Sahi. This bouquet from Muhammad, peace be upon him, we grant to all those who fast. O oh Allah, help us to remember you, thank you, and worship you in the best way. Ameen. That was the end of today's lesson. Please do join us for tomorrow's lesson, inshallah. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobyte.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.